Hi everyone, my name is Donna. Welcome to my cozy crafting corner. Today we're going to be doing a thrift flip. It's an umbrella stand, I believe, or a tall wooden base. It was yellow with palm trees. I'm sorry I didn't get a before picture, but I painted it with plaster paint in the color Sweet Cream. And now I'm adding some molding to sort of jazz it up a little bit. This molding is from B Flex. It's a flexible molding and it has tape on the back so you don't even have to worry about gluing it down. You just pull the tape top off and stick it on and it stays. So here I am trying to figure out where we need to cut. I am I, or I have decided to put it on the top of the stand. So I'm just cutting it with my box cutter. So I did speed this video up. So I had heard that if you wanted to slow them down, there's a somewhere on screen that you can, a button you can select that will slow it down. It would be a really long video if I didn't speed it up and you would get all very bored. So the paint that I use is plaster paint. It's a one step so that means it already has the sealer in it. So I didn't need to seal this paint after I painted it. Um, really good paint. Like I said, it's called Sweet Cream. I just love it. It goes on good. It has really good coverage. I'll have a link to that in my description if anyone's interested. So now I'm just going back over it with the plaster paint. I'm going over the little moldings. So. Uh, I'm trying to show you guys but <laughs> it's really hard trying to get that in this whole frame so I'm using a transfer from Hocus Pocus and this one is called the Queen and you'll see I am going to show you there is the Queen it's an owl it's a beautiful transfer um, I chose it to go on the cream background because I thought the transfer was so beautiful that we didn't really want a lot of color taken away from it so that's why I left it the cream color I'm just cutting it out trying to get it shaped a little bit so I would when I once I place it on I get an idea see there we go get an idea of how it's going to look and with transfers you just peel the white backing you lay them on your project and it comes with a little bamboo tool and you just rub that over and the transfer comes off pretty easy as you can see and if it doesn't, if you still have something that's stuck to the plastic, you just lay it back down and ro go over it again and it will come off. It's very easy. So I do all four sides with the transfer. So now you get a white glove and it just helps you rub it all in and make sure there's nothing sticking up. Very fancy. So I'm just adding to it. As you can see, you can cut the transfer up into pieces and just add little bits here and there. just trying to figure it out I 
and I will continue to cut and place figure out what I wanted to put on each side so I know this is taking quite a long time that's why I sped it up because if I didn't we would be here a while Laying the transfers down. And it's really such a improvement. I mean, I guess it was okay before, you know, if you like yellow and palm trees. But this wasn't my style. I just wanted to upcycle it, make it fresher. I don't know when the palm trees and yellow was in style. Was that the 80s? I'm not sure. Anybody know? Let me know in the comment section. So this stand was purchased at the thrift store. So, and what I had done is I had a bunch of thrift things and I just put them out and spray painted everything white. Next time I'll take a before picture and then I'll keep the tag so you guys could see how much it cost. So I'm sure it was like maybe six, well who knows you know thrift stores are getting really expensive so maybe it might have been nine dollars. I'm not sure. But I have a fantastic piece of decoration here. And what I did with it was I, um, and I don't have a picture of it, but I put uh, flowers in it. It's the tall flowers. I'll try to get a picture of what it looks like with the flowers. So I was actually having a hard time working with the glove on, so I think I eventually take it off. So let me know what you guys think um, in, the, in the comment section. like. Would you have placed it this way? Would you have done something different? Would you have painted it a different color? Please let me know. I'm really interested in hearing your thoughts. out where to put the butterfly. There we go.
Let's so try to add more to the bottom of this one. So as you can see, I'm just trying to cut little pieces and just fill in here and there. I still have a lot left of this transfer that I'll be using on another project. Plastic up. adding stuff in below the queen. I'm trying to make it look a little more natural. gonna do next what do I have another butterfly or a dragonfly maybe I'm not sure so I'm just placing trying to fill in some gaps as natural as I can. I suppose you could paint this a different color. I just didn't want to take away from the transfer. So now I'm using plaster paint. This is their metallic in the color Peacock. And I'm telling you, this is my favorite color ever. It's a bluish green. 
and it's just gorgeous. I'm just going over the top and that trimming that I added. I decided to use this color because I was just trying to give it some extra of you know something to brighten it up so let me see what am I gonna do here oh I'm still going over it okay I'm giving it a second coat So gorgeous. My husband loves this piece. Wait till you see the finished. Checking to see if it's dry. So those little handles, I was going to paint them green, but I changed my mind and I ended up painting them gold. So you can see that one there. I tried painting it green, but I just didn't like it. I needed it to be a little bit fancier for the queen. And you can't really tell, but the owl, the queen owl, she has some little stones in her crown there that are that color. I'm drawing it, touching up. Sometimes you just really got to work it to get into those little crevices. So there I'm adding some liquid gold to the handles. So that one I hadn't really painted. So. Giving it a good coat of liquid gold. Now I'm taking some rub and buff and I'm rubbing it on look at just trying to hit the high spots on this trim and on the top the top had sort of a rope effect on it it's just came out it's gorgeous I love gold so I am a gold person you'll see me so here I am rubbing it off. So what it is is with rub and buff, it's just what it says. You rub it on and then you buff it. You buff it with a cloth. I used a paper towel. And once you buff it off like that, there's a film on it. But once you buff it, it this is pretty shiny gold. So you make want to make sure that you always buff it out because it just brightens it up. I'm going around the other handle now. I'm 
Mm -hmm. Decided there's some more rub and buff I needed. So now I think I'm going to do the feet. I'm going to get those to match those handles. And then going around getting the spots that are missed. I have to dry it so that I don't mess it up as I move it around. And I got it. Oh, found a spot. Nope, I'm done. Here we go. Look at that beauty. Whoa. It's a gorgeous piece. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.
So my next project is this wooden tray. And with it, I did spray paint it white. But I'm going to go over the bottom of it with the plaster paint. One step in the color sweet cream. And just painting the bottom of it with this. I think I do give this one two coats. Let's see. Maybe not. Maybe I just did one coat on this. So I'm going to go around the sides. Oh, I got to dry it first. I'm going to go around the sides and I'm going to use Deco Art Americana in the color lamp black and Folk Art Treasure Gold. It's a metallic. And uh, you'll see that I mix these together. Oh, I do do a second coat. Sorry. Anyway, I mix the two colors together and it creates this just beautiful, rich brown, black brown. It's just a really pretty color. I love doing this. And you will see that coming up. I guess I got to get it good and dry first. Yeah, so here I'm going to mix the two together. And it's the Americana lamp black, lamp black and the Folk Art Treasure Gold. I buy them both at Hobby Lobby. I mix them until I get the color that I want. As you can see, it's just so beautiful. I love this color. So I really like the dark and moody look. And I'm trying to do my guest bedroom with the dark and moody decor. So this will probably go in there. So I'm going around the sides of the tray. I was trying to be careful not to get the bottom of the tray. So I was going to leave that all in the cream color. But as you can see in a little bit, I've changed my mind. So I was trying to be real careful. I'm going around the outside of it. I 
ahead and mix up some more paint. Let's run it out. Mixing more paint. You can tell that it's just a gorgeous black brown. You can't find a color like that. So it's just easy to make your own. Have it all painted. Now I'm going to apply a transfer. This is a white cloud transfer. It's called Modes and Corsets. And you can find that in the vflex.shop and I will add a link in the description. I'm cutting around it. Um, with these transfers you need to cut a little bit around around them to get them closer to the picture. Right down. I was surprised I got it in a good position. I usually do everything crooked. I think I have crooked eyes. came off pretty easy. Sort of looks like I was struggling, but I wasn't. It was really easy. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? I just love this transfer. Love the colors. So here I have some of those uh, jewelry box corners that I bought from Amazon, which I will link also. And I'm just going to attach those to the corners. And I'm using a glue. It's a craft glue that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. It's called Beacon 3-in-1. It works pretty good. I mean, they're on there. They're not moving. And it's supposed to have a fast, uh, you know, grip time. It, it did take a little bit longer for them to really adhere. I'm using a craft stick just to keep the glue off my fingers. So, it looks like I need another more paint. Let's see, what am I doing? Okay, this is where. Yep. I decided to go around the picture. I was going to leave it all in the cream color, but I decided I need more of a contrast. So I went around the bottom of it, the tray and around the picture. I think it looks better. You guys, tell me what you think. Add a comment. I'd like to know. We made a little oopsie, but I just cleaned it right up.
Making sure the corners are on there. What do you guys think? I think it's a beautiful piece. So much better than it was. So now I'm using rub and buff to go around those pieces and I going around the corners, then I decided oh, I was gonna add feet. But I decided I better wait a little while till I make sure the corners are good and dry. So I went around the edge of the tray with the rub and buff and as it says rub and buff so I rubbed it on and then I take a paper towel and I buff it and what that does is just bring out this just brilliant shine it's just gorgeous so you have to make sure that you buff you rub and buff just really it has like a little film on it so when you buff it off it removes that so here I decided, you can see on the handles, I used a stencil and I used the rub and buff on top of the handles. And I didn't get that on video. But I have this one here, so I decided I was going to stencil the sides using the rub and buff. That's what I'm doing here. was sort of a weird position trying to do that but it worked I got it to work looks like I might be smearing everything but it does come out really nice that pretty on the other side find a stencil wasn't fitting quite right on the other side so I tried to figure it out I sort of had to do it upside down it didn't lay quite right but it still came out okay Let's see So now I am going over the little feet. I bought the little feet from Amazon also, and they're the kind that you put, put on a jewelry box, I think. I think that's what they're for. Anyway, so I added them to the tray. I rub a buff on them. I use the same glue. The Beacon 3-in-1. It's 
so they weren't fitting quite right. But I, just, I got them to work and they're on there and they're not moving. They come with little nails, but I didn't want to use those. So this is the finished tray. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. I hope I've inspired you in some way. If you did like my content, please hit thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thank you.